Christine, four o'clock. Okay, you guys can wait in here. Kaylin, Dr. Kim can see you now. You want me to go with you? No, I'm okay. We took four pregnancy tests, different brands and everything. Looks like the tests were right. You're about three months along. Is it a boy or a girl? I won't be able to tell until about 20 weeks. Is there a father in the picture? Yeah. My boyfriend, Kevin. We've been together for over a year. Oh, that's good. And does he want to help raise it? I'm almost done with high school. He's already graduated. Well, I would be delighted to deliver your first baby. Now, before you leave, I'm going to set you up with one of our counselors. And she'll help walk you through everything, okay? Great. Okay. So in the 39th week, the baby weighs about seven and a half pounds. In the 40th week, you deliver, typically. You're not actually considered overdue until the 42nd week. This can be a lot for a couple who just found out they're pregnant. What are some of the first things you think you'll have to deal with? Um, I, I guess telling your mom. Yeah, it's not gonna be easy. She uh, kinda hates me. She doesn't hate you. Uh, she hates that I'm in a band. She hates that I haven't gone to college yet. She hates everything about me. I, I just think it's, it's probably best if you just tell her on your own. Okay, I don't think I should be there for that. Actually, I think it's better if you tell her together. You two are a united front in this thing. And she needs to see right off the bat that Kevin will be there to support you all the way. Let's do this. Why don't you go deal with telling your mom, and in a couple of days, you come back, and we'll go through the rest of this stuff. Sound good? Yeah, thank you. Okay, here's my number. Call me anytime. Actually, I'm pregnant too. Oh, how far along? Almost four months. <laughs> Thank you. Telling your mom is gonna suck. If it makes you uncomfortable, I can do it by myself. When I told you that whatever choice you made about the baby, that I'd be behind you 100%, I meant it. No one said this was gonna be easy. If any two people can do it, it's you and me. I love you. I love you too. Chloe? Hello? Hello? your car outside? Uh, yeah, I parked on the street. Oh, so you're staying for dinner. Listen, Tay, I talked to that counselor at the university, and he said, don't worry about the housing, that the dorms always open up last minute. <laughs> What's going on? Mom, maybe you should sit down. Just tell her. Tell me what? <laughs> you're not pregnant, are you? I knew you'd do this. Oh my God, you are. Tay, how could you let this happen? Mom, please, you just try to be understanding for what? Understanding? I tell you what, I understand. Safe sex, and apparently the both of you don't. Look, Mrs. Williams, this is not as bad as you think it is. Kevin, this is between me and my daughter. 
No, no, it's, it's not. He's right, Mom. We're in this together and he's gonna take care of this baby as much as I am. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a minute. You're keeping it? Of course we're keeping it. Okay, listen to me, honey. Both of you, just listen to me. What's done is done, all right? Let's just, let's just talk about doing the right thing now. The right thing? What, get an abortion? I always told you I would never do that, Mom. I never said anything about having an abortion. Tay, I'm just saying, maybe give this baby to a good home or a family that's ready for a child. No, we're not doing that. Considering I got pregnant at 20, you've got to believe me when I tell you what a mistake this is. So it was a mistake? No, that's not what I meant, and you know it. I'm just saying, I don't want you to get tied down with a baby. You have your whole life ahead of you. This is our life. No, Kevin. This may be your life, but this is not my daughter's life. She's supposed to go to college next year. Mom, I'll still go to college and stop talking to him like that. The fact that you think that you can still go to college and raise an infant only proves to me you have no clue how hard it is to be a good mother. Oh, and you are so freaking great at it, right? Hey, come on. No, since we're all just saying how we feel here, you're always bashing Kevin, but guess what? I'm a heck of a lot better at picking guys than you are. Let's say things we don't mean. No, I mean it. I'm 18 and I can do what I want. You are still a child. And you are still in my home, young lady. That can change right now. I don't need anything from you. You don't? No. I'm moving in with Kevin. Right, Kevin? Um, yeah, yeah, it's okay. Um, look, can we, can we stop for a second and just count to 10? Just kind of reassess. Go. gonna take her some time to get used to this. But for right now, I think the best thing for you to do would be if you go up there again tomorrow morning and just try to talk to her, okay? No. I don't want to go back there. I'm gonna stay here. It'll just lead to another fight. After the baby's born, if she wants to see it, she can come visit us. Okay. Morning. Be calf. What is this? Hmm? 
Uh, it looks like a DVD. Did Nikki give it to you? I don't know, why? Hmm. Yeah, that's uh, Nikki and her stupid little poles for you. When did you see her to borrow this? Um, I don't know, she comes to band practice sometimes. Band practice? Mm -hmm. Why? Beats me, she just likes to hang out and listen to music, I guess. No, she likes to hang out and lust over you. <laughs> hey, come on. I mean, yeah, I know I'm hot, but seriously. Why else would she draw a little heart with a smiley face inside it? It doesn't even make sense. Okay. I mean, who does that? I don't it's know. bad enough you work for a dad. I know. Hey, hey. Don't get all jealous about this, okay? There's nothing going on between me and Nikki. She wants you back and you know it. Okay, so what if she does? I don't want her back. I'm in love with crazy little you. Look, if it makes you feel any better, the next time I see her, I'll just tell her that she can't come to practice anymore, okay? Deal. All right. Me and you are the ones having a baby, okay? Besides, I came up with the name. You did? Yeah. What? Aurelius. You're kidding, right? I gotta go to work, but um, think about it. It grows on you. Aurelius. How do you even spell that? Where is she? Who are you? Adrian. Sierra Krisky's boyfriend. You know, the guy he made up all those stories about. The guy he said was cheating on her. Trying to hurt her. You were controlling and abusive. She told me so herself. No, you filled her head full of lies. You made her afraid of me. What'd you do to her? I know you did something, so you better start talking. I ain't got all day.
You lost the baby, Sierra. My baby. It was an accident. He's dead. Going. If you'd taken better care of yourself, this wouldn't have happened. You should have known better than to pick a fight, you little skank. <laughs> things aren't working out with your mom. Sometimes parents have a hard time with this. But it sounds like moving in with Kevin, things should be better. He's all about making me happy, you know? In what ways? Well, his ex-girlfriend Nikki, she's been showing up to practice lately, and I know that she still likes him. So I got kind of upset. So he said he wouldn't invite her anymore. Do you think he'll really do that? Yeah. Why wouldn't he? No reason. Trust is a very important thing in a relationship, especially when you're bringing a baby into it. Kevin's completely trustworthy. He never lies to me about anything. Sounds like you picked yourself a good guy. Hey, um, did you pick up a bottle of prenatal vitamins when you were here the other day? Uh, no. Was I supposed to? Unfortunately, we're out. We should have some more by Wednesday, though. Do you want to come pick some up then? Sure. Thank you so much, Chloe. When Kevin and I came in here on Monday, we were really upset, and you made us feel a lot better. Good. That's what I'm here for. Nice. All right, cool. Let's call it a night. Hey, Kev. Hey. Sound good. Thanks. Am I visible or something? <laughs> you haven't said anything to me the whole time I've been here. Uh, you invisible? It's impossible. <laughs> hey, look. Um, hey, Eric said you're trying to sell your Gibson. The electric one? Yeah. Yeah, I, I am. Why? Short on cash? Kinda. Um, Taylor's pregnant, so baby stuff is uh, pretty expensive. <laughs> so, am I invited to the wedding or what? <laughs> I'm just kidding. That'd be weird, right? So, how much you want for it? With the, the Gibson? Well, well, I mean, it's um. It's listed at 700, so... Let me see what I can do, okay? Okay, yeah, um... <laughs> it's great. Thanks. <laughs> oh. 
All I'm asking is for one dinner so that we can talk. All right. Where did you want to go? Okay, well, there's a girl in cells who says there's a nice little place on La Brea called Carmen's. I'll text you the address. You don't have to. I'm looking it up right now. What time? Eight. Okay, Mom, I gotta go. There's someone at the door. All right, sweetie, I'll see you on Saturday. Hi. Hi. Come on in. Listen, I'm sorry to just drop by, but we just got these. Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, would you like some tea or anything? Oh, that'd be great. This is a nice place. Oh, do you think so? <laughs> I cleaned it up a little. You should have seen it before. <laughs> Kevin's not a neat freak, huh? Uh, no. But in his defense, he does work a lot. Especially now the baby's coming, he's picked up some extra shifts at the office. He's a runner, right? Yeah, but they say he could be an assistant to an editor or something. Um, all we have is chamomile. Is that okay? Oh, that's perfect. Thanks. Taylor, how are things going with you and your mom? Um, well, she wants to go to dinner on Saturday, so we'll see how that goes. I kind of miss her. A lot. I know you do, sweetie. Can I ask you a question? Certainly. Are you married? You don't wear a ring or anything? No. No. Um, I was seeing this guy, the father, and um, oh, I was really in love with him. And everything was going pretty great. And about a month ago, uh, he left me for someone younger. Did he know you were pregnant? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry. What a tool. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. He's out of my life completely now. And I know that I'm going to give this baby the most amazing future all by myself. Yeah, it's kind of like my mom. My dad left before I was born, so... Guess you found someone else, too. Well, at least you don't have to worry about that with Kevin, right? Yeah. Beautiful. I gotta get going to work, so uh, do you have the money? Yeah, I do, um, but I have to add a clause to our contract. What is this? It's the flyer for next Saturday night. Yeah, why is your picture on it? Well, I figured since I'm buying this awesome new guitar, I should have some place to play it. <laughs> it's only one song, Kev, please. What's up, Kev? <laughs> Nikki, there's no way in hell that I'm gonna let you play with our band, okay? Okay. Then here. I guess I won't be needing this, and uh, you don't really need my $700. All right, one song. <laughs> okay, but 
These flyers better not go up anywhere, okay? Deal. See you Saturday. Uh-huh. get a message to someone at one of your tables. So basically, I just never want to give you the idea that I don't support you. I'm your mother. You should be able to come to me for anything. When you told me you were pregnant, all my visions of your future just came crashing down. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry for the way I reacted. Ms. Williams? Yes. I have a message for you. Lauren from the adoption agency called. She can't make it and sends her apologies. What? The adoption I, agency? I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Should have known you'd try to pull something like this. <sighs> Listen, Taylor, wait. This has got to be some kind of mistake. There's no mistake. The only mistake was that I actually agreed to have dinner with you. Taylor, please. That's fine. If her fever goes up, take her to the emergency room and call me back. OK. Bye. Sorry about that. My little girl's been fighting a fever for a couple of days now. So what can I get you, sweetie? Rum and Coke. Make it a double. You got it. Being a working mom's tough, huh? Tell me about it. You have kids? Yeah. Little boy. This is his daddy's weekend. So you're single, too. I tell you, it's not easy. But aren't they the best? When little Megan was born, it changed my life. I know exactly what you mean. Before I had my son, I just knew there was something missing. Here, keep the rest. I hope Megan feels better soon. Thanks. What are you drinking? Soda. So you were either an alcoholic or you're under 21. You might seem a little of both. Don't tell. Cheers. You in the band? Not really. I'm just going to play one song. I can't even watch one unless I'm here to play. That whole stupid underage thing. That sucks. I think your boyfriend would be able to do something about that. Boyfriend? Strong. Isn't the lead guitarist your boyfriend? Kevin? No. Kept looking over here at you. Figured you two were, you know, a thing. He kept looking over at me? Sweetheart, you need to pay attention. With guys, body language says it all. <laughs> all right. 
Uh, we're gonna do one more song. We have a special guest guitarist. Uh, her name is Nikki. The song is called Only Once. play with us again. You understand me? You blew this. I mean it. How was your show? It was okay. Yeah, just um, good crown. Nothing exciting. Where's your other guitar? The Gibson? I, um, I loaned it to Eric. <laughs> Why'd you do that? You know he never returns anything he borrows. Don't worry about it. He'll give it back. What are these? How long have you and Nikki been going on like this? What? Who took these? I don't care who took them. Was that before or after you kissed her? Tay, I did not kiss her. Okay, look, this is not what you think it is at all. Someone's trying to mess with you, probably Nikki. So that's not you with your face two inches from hers? Yes, it is, all right? But I was yelling at her for getting drunk. Why was she even there? What, is she in the band now? No, she's... Not. Look, there was a one-time thing and it was a huge mistake, oh. okay? A mistake that you obviously knew you were gonna make and decided not to tell me about. She made this herself. What about the guitar you lent to Eric? You lied to me so you could have Nikki in your band. Okay. No. Look, come on. Calm down, okay? This is not something that you should be getting upset over. If it's so damn innocent, why did you lie to me? I trusted you. Taylon. Taylon, please, let me explain this to you. My mom was right. You are exactly like my father. Damn it. I was going to spend my life with him. Oh, sweetheart. You need to stay calm. Stress isn't good for the baby. We're gonna figure this out, okay? First thing that needs to happen is you need to move out of Kevin's place. Go back to my mom's. I would rather die than do that. I haven't even told you about what she tried to pull at the restaurant. Why is everyone turning against me? Everything's going wrong, like all at once. You know, if 
you want. You could stay at my place for a while. Just until you get things sorted out. I've got a nice house, the guest room. I turned it into a nursery, but I won't need that for a while. It's no problem. I couldn't impose like that. Oh, trust me, you wouldn't be imposing. Besides, I'd put you to work. You'd have to make me dinner every once in a while. Are you sure? Do I need to send you a written invitation? <laughs> I didn't have anything to do with this. Yeah, these. like hell you didn't. I mean, what, did you have one of your friends take those for you? You're crazy. My friends aren't even old enough to get in there. Yeah, what about the friend who gave you the drink, huh? She wasn't my friend. I'd never even met her before. Yeah, I'm sure she's just one of my other psycho fans who has a crush on me, right? Yeah, maybe she is. So what, you have one fan now? Congratulations. You are such a freaking liar, you know that? <laughs> yeah, don't expect to work here much longer after I tell my dad how mental you are. Go ahead. Yeah, go whine to daddy. See if I care! Oh my god, this is so tiny. I love it. So cute. <laughs> have you thought about a name? Ugh, well, Kevin has. Wait for it. Aurelius. What? <laughs> no kidding, right? Ugh. As far as I'm concerned, if it's a girl, Hannah. If it's a boy, Hayden. I like those names. Did you get those from a book? No. I've always liked the name Hannah, and Hayden's in town in Colorado. My mom used to take me there to ski when I was younger. Huh. Never been to Colorado. Oh, it's amazing. The mountains are beautiful, and the people are so down to earth. I'd love to live in Denver one day. Hmm. Should we check out Denver, huh? Talon says it's nice. <laughs> you talk to him? Him. Grant. After Hugh Grant. The actor. <laughs> Hello, Grant. Are you gonna be a famous movie star someday, too? <laughs> oh! He said yes, and he has an accent. <laughs> Actually, it's good to talk to your baby, even if it makes you feel like an idiot. And people say it helps the baby to bond with its mother better if it hears her voice. Really? Mm hmm Hello, little peanut. <laughs> you are one of a kind, Talon. You really are. Kevin. What's up? Um, can I talk to Talon? Look, I, I know she's mad at me and everything, but just give me five minutes with her, please. Kevin, Talon's not here. What? I haven't seen her since last night. Are you worried, baby? I hope you don't feel ripped off getting me as a mom. I could understand if you did. But I promise. I'm gonna do everything I can to make sure you have a good life. And even if I have to work a lot. I promise I'll always make time for you. Whenever you want me to. And I'll always love you. No matter what. Okay, thank you so much. I yeah, I really appreciate it. Okay, bye -bye. No luck. Well, according to Taylor's friend Amber, she apparently moved in with some woman by the name of Chloe. Chloe? Yeah. That's the woman from the pregnancy center. Hi, um, I don't have an appointment, but I'm here to see Chloe. I'm Chloe. How can I help you? I'm Sasha Williams, Taylor's mother. Nice to meet you. I've heard a lot about you. Yeah, well, I haven't heard a single thing about you, which I find odd considering that you're my daughter's new roommate. Ms. Williams, there's really nothing to be upset about. Taylor's an adult, she needed a safe place to stay, and I offered to give her that. A safe place? 
A safe place would be at home with me. Dr. Kim, I think you should come out. You know, please. you've known my daughter for less than, what, two weeks? And you feel like you're qualified to decide what's best for her? That's not even reasonable. It's absolutely reasonable. If she wanted to live with you, she'd move back in. I don't know what's going on here, but I think we better continue this in private. Who in their right mind would invite an 18-year-old patient to come live with them? You're absolutely right, Miss Williams. It's against our policy, and it's not okay. Well, I'm not gonna tell a young woman to go live with a mother she doesn't want to be with. Uh, are you gonna do something about this, or do I have to call the state medical board? I, I will handle it. I can't promise Taylor will come home, but I could assure you that by tomorrow, Taylor will no longer be staying with Chloe. Good. Thank you. What were you thinking? Taylor is 18. She's an adult. She's entitled to make her own decisions. Besides, if you heard some of the stories about her mother... That is not the point. Well, what do you expect me to do? Send her to live in a shelter or something? Yes. Give her a referral like you would anyone else. If she lives with me, at least she'll be in an environment where... She cannot stay with you. Those are the rules. Now, I'm sorry, but if this continues, you can no longer be employed here. Fine. Well, I quit. What? Taylor needs me. So does her baby. Chloe, listen. Chloe! You weren't kidding about your mom. What do you mean? She found out you were living here, went down to my office and got me fired. I am no longer working at the clinic. Are you serious? Started bad-mouthing me to my boss, saying you shouldn't be living here with me. Two years of that place. No one ever complained. What are you doing? Calling my mom. Hello? What the hell is wrong with you? Taylan? Are you that bitter you had to go into the clinic and get Chloe fired? Fired? How dare you do that to a woman who's never been anything but nice to me? Okay, I never said anything to her boss about firing her. But if that's what happened, then I'm glad. What? Why didn't you tell me you were living with your counselor? Taylan, it's totally inappropriate. Mom, it's called being a nice person. A nice person wouldn't try to convince a pregnant 18-year-old to leave home and, and live with a, a total stranger. It's, it's like she's trying to drive a wedge between you and your family. She's not doing that, Mom. I can't believe you're twisting this. Oh, Taylan. Baby, please come home. Come on, let, let's, let's just start over and put all this behind us. After what you've done to Chloe and I? I can't believe you even have the nerve to suggest that. Forget it. I'm so sorry. I feel so bad about this. Don't feel bad. I signed on to help people. If they don't want me to do that, I don't want to work there anyway. Hey, look, I'm sorry I lied to you, okay? But I swear there's nothing going on between me and Nikki. My, my whole world is about you. And now it's about you and the baby. I'm glad we're talking. I wish you were here. You wouldn't believe what's going on. It's been one hell of a day. Why? What happened? My mom got Chloe fired. She thinks Chloe's some crazy person trying to drive a wedge between me and her. She's the one driving the wedge, but it's easier to blame someone else. I, I can see how your mom might think that. <sighs> no, don't you start too. Well, I, I'm not. I'm just saying, don't you think it's a little weird that some woman you just met thinks it's better to stay with her instead of your mom or your sexy? Devoted boyfriend who would get down on his knees and beg you for forgiveness if you would just go to lunch with him. No, you're sounding desperate. 
What are you doing tomorrow? Me and the guys, we got a gig up in Oakland. Look, I'm, I'm going to be back on Sunday morning. Sunday works. Sunday at noon it is. See you. I love you. Yeah. Me too. Come on, Tay, you need to eat. Don't want the baby to starve. So what's the matter? I was thinking maybe you, me, and my mom could go to dinner or something, you know? Clear the air. Let her see what a nice person you are. Sure. If, if that's what you want. So you're not opposed to it? No, of course not. Uh, but... But what? I just... I just think that it's, it's natural to want your mother's approval. But sometimes it's just healthier for the child to cut the apron strings. That way your mother won't be able to control you so much. I'm not letting her control me. No, but you are. <laughs> She's the one driving a wedge between you and other people. She didn't like Kevin. No, she doesn't like me. I mean, no matter who you try to get close to, she's going to try to sabotage it. What? Nothing. I knew I shouldn't have said anything. How did you know that? That she thinks that you're driving a wedge between me and her? Well, it's pretty obvious. She made it real clear at the clinic yesterday. She hates my guts. Look, if you want us all to go out to lunch together, <laughs> I'll do it. Now, whatever you want to do, I support you, okay? No, I think you're right. It's a bad idea. I'm gonna go take a shower.
Kira Krisky. Everything okay? Yeah, great. You going somewhere? No, I was just gonna go to the library to study. Actually, the truth is, while you were gone, Kevin called and he really wants me to come back, so I said I would. You were gonna leave without telling me? No, not at all. I was gonna, I was gonna tell you when you got back. It's not that I don't really appreciate everything you've done for me. No, no I, I understand. You really should be with the baby's father. I just, I like having you around. Good roommate. Sorry, Chloe. Do you have to leave right away? I, I, I got you a little gift. I, I was gonna give it to you later, but ugh, you've already done so much already. Really. But I want to give it to you. I want you to have it. Okay. You really deserve this. <gasps> Chloe, you didn't have <laughs> I'm sorry, but you're not taking my baby.
Talon? Rand, sweetie, don't worry. Oh, you're home now. Mommy's gonna take good care of you. Finally up. Slept five hours. Should have used a double dose the first time. Would have saved us both a lot of trouble. Dinner? There's also a juice box in there and your vitamin. Go to hell! No, 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 no. Let's, let's not get all worked up. It's not good for the baby. Where are we? Denver. At least that's what we're gonna tell your mom. You are going to write a letter addressed to me saying that nobody cares about what you want, yada, 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 and you've decided to go to the Mile High City. Copy down exactly what I say. Write it yourself. Now. If you want to kill me, kill me. But if I die, so does the baby, and that's what you want, right? You want my baby. You're right. But I will certainly kill your mother. And that I would actually enjoy. My mom has nothing to do with this. No, let's keep it simple. Just write the letter. And don't put any little codes in there because if I think I see one, you'll write it again with a broken hand. <sighs> Dear Chloe, Okay, now we just have one more order of business and then I will let you eat your dinner in peace. Hey, it's Taylor, leaving a message. Uh, hey Tay. Um, it's me. I thought you were gonna come over for lunch today, but, um, whatever. Uh, hey, look, just give me a call, okay? I love you.
Hello. Hello, is this Sasha? Yes. Hi, this is Chloe Mitchum. You haven't heard from Talon, have you? Uh, no, isn't she supposed to be with you? Well, it appears she's run away. What? I woke up this morning and I found a note. I think you should see it. So the two of you got into an argument? Well, it wasn't an argument, really, but she was upset with me. About what? Well, she's upset about the fight you two had on the phone. I made the mistake of suggesting she might want to reconsider giving the baby up for adoption. She got mad and locked herself in her room. I went to bed early, and when I got up this morning, no Talon. Well, what about all her stuff? Oh, car, clothes, everything. Gone. Just this note. I've decided to go to Denver. I don't think she knows anybody in Denver. I think I'm going to show this to the police. Well, maybe I should come with you. I was the last person to see her. Okay. Okay, I know how this sounds, but Talon is actually very responsible. It's not like her to just up and leave the state like this. So what do you think happened? I don't know. My, my fear is that she's been abducted. Women who've been abducted don't usually leave notes. Any idea why she'd want to go to Denver? It was her very favorite vacation spot. It just doesn't make sense, though. She's going to graduate in a couple of months. That was something that was so important to her. OK, we'll look into this. If you could fill this out, where she goes to school, names and phone numbers of her friends, and the boyfriend that you mentioned, all that, it's going to help. Detective, is there a way we could locate her using her cell phone? Write down her service provider and cell phone number. We can do a trace as long as it's still on. I'm going to be visiting my sister in Kansas City for a few weeks. Do you think I should postpone my trip? What if she shows up back in my house? No, I don't think that's necessary. <laughs> if she contacts you by phone, though, you let us know right away. Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> we got the trace in the cell phone. She's somewhere just outside of Denver. Wow, she must have left really early this morning. That's like a 15-hour drive. Well, like I said, I didn't see her after 7 o'clock last night. That's almost 16 hours ago. We'll contact law enforcement there and let them know she's missing. Well, this is good news, right? I mean, at least she's where she said she was going to be. Ms. Williams, we'll look into this and we'll be in touch. We're going to do everything we can to locate your daughter. Thank you. You know, I think I'm going to go up to the high school, maybe talk to some of her friends. If I come up with something, I'll let you know. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. residence no one's here to take your call but if you leave a message we'll call you right back thanks hi mom Taylor. I don't like it. I mean, her, her voice does not sound right. I agree. I mean, why would she call me at home when she always calls me in my cell? And you know what else is weird? I mean, she was supposed to come over to my house yesterday for lunch. She never showed up, never called me, nothing. Probably doesn't sound like her. 
Did she tell you about the photos? No. It's not what it looks like. We were arguing. Taylor found those on my porch, but Nikki swears that she didn't put them there. You know, this is starting to sound a whole lot like the restaurant adoption agency fiasco. It sounds like someone's really trying to set us up here. Yeah, I, I keep thinking about this thing that Nikki said. She said that there was this older woman at the bar that night who, who gave her a drink and might have taken those photos. Did she say what she looked like? No, but I can only think of one older woman who has anything to do with all this. Chloe. Yeah, she's been trying her hardest to keep Taylor from us. You said that she was heading up to Kansas City to see her sister or something? Yeah. Do you know her name? No. Okay, can I see your computer? Sure. Don't worry, I come bearing gifts. Pop defect, Creed. Not my taste, but you like them, so that's all that counts. How do you know I like those bands? Oh, it's on your shout out page, along with your favorite books, magazines. I know how boring it can get up here sometimes, so if you promise to behave, I promise to be nice back. See? How long are you gonna keep me here? Till the baby is born. But I am willing to make you as comfortable as possible. Chloe, you can't get away with this. The police are gonna find out what you're doing. Well, that's funny because this morning when I spoke to the police, they didn't seem to be all that interested in chasing some hysterical teenager all the way to Denver. I wouldn't waste my time worrying about that. Sorry about the light in here. There's no electricity in this old place, but there should be enough light coming through that window in the morning. What about these? Well, that's up to you. What will you do for me? I'll be good. Okay. Let's give it a try. You're wondering about the ankle cuff? That wasn't part of the deal. Toss him back. What are you waiting for? Excellent. You passed with flying colors. None of these would have worked with that one anyway. That's this one. When can I take this one off? Well... <laughs> Let's wait and see. Would you like me to play some of these CDs before you go to sleep? There's a boombox right outside. Okay, well, maybe tomorrow. What's gonna happen to me after the baby's born? Well, that'll be up to you, too. Just keep being good. You know, Talon was the only one who really believed in me and the band. My parents thought I was stupid. Well, maybe your parents just wanted you to go to college, Kevin. Most parents want that for their kids. Yeah, no kidding. They about had a heart attack when I told them I was turning down my uh, scholarship to Wittendale. You got a scholarship to Wittendale? Yeah, music. You never told me that. Yeah, well, never told Talon. 
If I did, then she just convinced me to go. I wanted to stay here with her. That and I gave my word to the band that I'd stick it out. If I make a promise, I keep it. Okay, here's something. Um, looks like her sister's name is Rachel Carradine. And there are three Rachel Carradines in Kansas City, Missouri, and one in Kansas City, Kansas. Okay, it's almost midnight. They're two hours ahead. Let's just print this out and we'll call first thing in the morning. Okay. Thanks. How's the baby doing? Fine. I'm glad. Eat up. <sighs> what did you do? What were you going to do with this? This was very bad, Taylor. And bad girls get punished. Put these back on. Or I'll blind you. One. Two. You're a crazy bitch! Ah! Ah! Cuffs on, Talon. Then you'll get the water. <laughs> Do it, Talon. Do it. <laughs> Two down, two to go. All right, here's the next one. Hello? Hi. I'm calling for Rachel. This is Rachel. Hi, um... I'm sorry to bother you, but are you Chloe Mitchum's sister? Yes, why? Oh, good, is Chloe there? Who is this? My name is Sasha Williams. Why in the world would you think Chloe would be here? decide to behave yourself, you will get some of this stuff back. <laughs> Till then, I guess you'll just have to be alone with your thoughts. You think you're gonna have my baby? I would rather die than give it to you! You're never gonna have my baby! You're never gonna have anyone's baby! You stupid freak! I'm sorry, Chloe. We can't place a child with you. But I'm okay now. This is a pretty common policy. We just can't adopt a people who have already been convicted of... I know, I know. But that was eight years ago. After my surgery, I, I, I was depressed. That's all behind me. I'm ready to be a mother now, and I want to be a mother more than anything else. I'll dedicate my life to this child. Just give me a chance.
<laughs> so you had a falling out? Well, it wasn't just with me, it was the whole family. She hasn't talked to any of us in years. Well, why would she say she's coming to visit you? Maybe it was a surprise. <laughs> I promise you, Chloe is not showing up here for some impromptu visit. Well, you know, sometimes a baby changes that. You know she's pregnant, right? What? Who told you that? Uh, Chloe did. Point proven. Chloe is not pregnant. She had a hysterectomy about 10 years ago. What? Yeah, she had cervical cancer. Really affected her. And she tried to adopt, but they wouldn't let her. Why not? Car crash. She got drunk and drove her car into a tree trying to kill herself. They ended up charging her with reckless endangerment. Okay, Rachel, we really need to get a hold of your sister. Yeah, um, d do you have any idea where she might be right now? No. Look, the only thing I can think of, maybe, is the farm. The farm? Uh, okay, okay, where, where is that? It's an old family farm outside Ojai. When our dad died, he left it to me. It's just been sitting empty for years. It says there's a bridge uh, right up here. Gloves look pretty new. Didn't Rachel say this place was vacant? I don't think anybody's here. What's up with all the chains? Wow. It's kind of weird. Okay, you know what? I, I'm gonna go check out the back, okay? Yeah. Come on, 
Just be like, come on. All right, let's go. Get out of the way, Talon. No. Do it now. You're gonna have to kill me and the baby. Take it easy. Did you ever think we'd get to this day, considering where we started? We've been through a lot. Yeah. Thank you for the shower and everything. I don't think I could be doing this without you. I love you. I love you too. Um, did I miss something here? No. <laughs> The girl thing. <laughs> ah, I see. Oh, hey, what's this? Looks like you missed one. I didn't see it. Where's it from? I don't know. Doesn't say. I guess you should just go ahead and open it up. someone could love someone else. And I don't want to be just our kid's father. I want to be your husband too. <laughs> Will you marry me? Let me get a picture, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> 